Hello everybody, I am Boston from the Boston YouTube channel and welcome back to Cartoons of Danganronpa, a daily life for chapter one. So we just entered our room, we're the mystery twins, yeah, we're back together with me and my uh, sister Maple. Well, there's one thing I know about Maple is she always knows how to get me out of the slums. With that, I unlocked the mono collar and we headed towards my room. She is going to die first, I can guarantee it. <laughs> and just like Mono Kuma said, we were in. I don't mean to be stereotypical, but it seems like... It just seems to just be destined to happen, you know. My sister dying and having a whole trauma arc. You know what? You know how it is with Dongan Rampa. I can never have a person I know my whole life live to the very end. This is not how it works. What the home sweet home? What is that? Whoa! This kind of looks like our room in the attic back at Grunkle stands out. What the fuck? Did they copy and paste my house? Control C, Control V. Per not perfect, but there's a lot of elements st st taken straight from it. That is a uh, very uh, creepy. I can't say like to say the least. Yeah, if I remember correctly, this was a part of Professor Membranes, just like Home Pulse. <laughs> we wanted every student attending Home School Academy to feel at ease in this new environment, so we were asked to provide an ideal setting for our room. Do you want us to stay here? Oh, that's a nice room. <laughs> oh, they got a whole window. What the fuck? Why do I get no fucking window? That's not fair. I want city view. We weren't allowed to ask for anything too out of the ordinary for the most, but we got to choose. If we wanted something added to your dorm that was wildly different than normal, you need to provide photographic proof that you own. <laughs> That's an interest. It's like the anything you can draw challenge. I'll buy. It's like one of those YouTube things. That and bring it to your home yourself. Ultimately, I decided to go with our room in the attic of the mystery slack. It's a little plain, but it just felt right. You know, I mean, it's a comfy little place. You know, I like the wood. I like the wooden feel. I. It's, it has a comforting, chill vibe to it. So this is the design you went with. <laughs> Boring. Okay, let's see what your room looks like. You should have gone crazy, like. Like it with uh, like I did, knowing you, your room is probably made of glitter. Oh God, that's gonna be impossible to clean up. <laughs> sparkly glitter. I I mean, is there non-sparkly glitter that we don't know about? Although, let's focus. We've got a situation here. Oh, you know it's gonna get real when this music starts playing. We've trapped in one of the biggest schools on the planet, and that bear thing wants us to kill each other in order to leave. Not to mention that each and every person here has some kind of incredible talent. <laughs> Incredible's a strong word. <laughs> I'd see pretty random. We barely know any of these people past their names, but I can already tell some of them are craftier, or at least have it in them to do what Monokuma says. If we don't find a way out of here quickly, some people might start getting desperate. <laughs> hey, dis dip 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 <laughs> Disper. <laughs> hey, Dipper, check out the school rules. They're kind of freaking me out. Kind of? I mean, if there's murder in the rules, maybe it's a little freaky at most. At least a little bit. <laughs> really, let me see. Alright, have we ever actually looked at these rules? I know de stereotypical rules, but let's see. Maybe they'll add something new and quirky. Ooh, interesting. Blood splatter and stars. Students to the academy are required to live, breathe, eat, sleep within the academy for the rest of their natural born lives. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Ten p.m. to 11 a.m. are classified as night hours. During this period of time, some of the rooms of the school will be inaccessible, as well as certain devices will shut down, including human beings, because everyone always fucking kills at night. <laughs> Sleeping outside of a dorm room is strictly prohibited and will be dealt with swiftly. The nurse's office is the only exception to the rule, but only if it's a non-fatal injury occur. Okay, so someone's getting freaking whacked out and probably gonna bleed out like ed maybe also why can't we sleep in the hallways or anywhere else like come on now there's currently there are no current limits on student actions in terms of exploration while in the school building unless the pathway is locked or bared off you are free to search through hope speak at your leisure of course it's probably gonna be nothing because you made sure that there was nothing intentionally obscuring or defacing monitors in any way will lead to immediate uh punishment Hmm, I wonder what the punishment will be. Uh, there's only death in this world as punishment. Being successful in committing murder means freedom from this academy and also ex the execution of all the other students, also known as graduation. <laughs> However, failure to remain undetected by your peers will result in swift punishment. Monokuma is forbidden from committing s m committing murder unless it's for the sake of maintaining order within the killing game, i.e. trial punishments and breaking the rules. Yeah, so make sure that he doesn't freaking commit a double murder or something like that for no reason other than the fuck of it. 
When a body is discovered by three or more people, Monokuma will announce the body discovery to everyone in the school. The black and themselves are not included in this rule. Okay, so that's good to know. So if you're with three people and you find a body and it doesn't go off, well, you know the culprit's one of those three people. No single student is allowed to kill more than two people, so you can kill fucking two. Okay, we know, we know how to... <laughs> if we're keeping the stereotypical rules, which a lot of them do follow, we might get a double murder three after three. Woohoo. First come, first serve. If two murders occur around the same time, only the first killer will be credited during the will be credited during the oncoming class trial. Wait, what if like the body like someone gets killed second and then they the body gets thrown over? What happens then, huh? Monokuma, I think there's a little bit of flaws to your uh, little game here. What the fuck was that? Okay. <laughs> if ever needed, any future rules can be rotted to the to this list by headmaster at any given point in time. Okay, so there's definitely a hidden rule to this fucking game that we uh, will probably discover on accident, maybe. That'll be nice. As I expected, most of these rules are about about the game Monokuma wants us to play. That's a lot of rules for something so awful. <laughs> I don't think there's enough rules for something so awful. Some of these kind of specific, yeah, like um, square, 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 like that rule. I think we can easily not break that rule, right? It looks like whoever is making us do this really wants to cover their bases to make sure no one is killing mindlessly. Yeah, make sure no one doesn't just freaking blow up everything and kill everyone instantly. And what's with this one rule? Is it like glitched out or something? Hit your hit, hit it enough, maybe it'll like fix itself. Like hit your device. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> Is there anything I can see hidden in this? Is this an oversight? No, it's very much intentional. It's like it's like the fine print, you know? Did Monokuma really set all this up just to miss one, this one detail? Like, they don't want you to read it, but, you know, you could hectic technically if you focus really hard on it. I mean, it's possible, right? The creep did just take over a super high-tech school. Maybe he couldn't work out all the bugs in time or whatever. <laughs> what is this, a modern video game where there's a million trillion bugs? If this is... if But if... Blah. But if this is intentional, then then what? There's definitely rule 11. What does that mean? Rule 77. There's 77 rules to this game. <laughs> Imagine if it's just that. <laughs> the biggest plot twist. I don't know. <laughs> Still pretty strange if he misses this one. Listen, you know what? I, I just wanted to be funny with these rules, you know? It's kind of, it's, I just want to see y'all discuss and fight over it, that's all. And so the two of us sat and chatted about our situation. We theorized on what could have brought us here. What? <laughs> Not who? Brought us here and why? But we didn't really get anything. Right now, or wait, what did that say? We didn't really get anywhere. That's, I read that all wrong. Right now, there's just nothing to, nothing to go on. And as time escaped us, we got the nighttime alarm. Yep, here we go. Our first night here. Five nights in uh, cartoon romper land. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you think you're all. Day, am I right, guys? Yeah, you're gonna sit and you're doing like the sexy pose or whatever. No, really, I do. Pits, what the frick After is... all, this is where you're gonna be staying for a very long time now. Yeah, your whole life until Anyways, you die. It is now 10 p.m. What if that someone naturally dies? Hours have officially begun. Like they just die of old age. Head to your dorm rooms on the second floor as soon as possible, and be sure to get some rest. <laughs> Thank you. you. Need all the energy you can get from now on. What? What is that supposed Night -night. to mean? You're not gonna let us sleep? Are you gonna like make us only sleep only six hours a day and starve us? We get bare minimum food? Is that what you want us to do, huh? It's 10 p.m. already. I can already feel Monokuma doing something like that, to be honest. Well, since we woke up in the, that classroom, we never had much of a concept of what time was. Yeah, I forgot. We don't have fucking windows. Windows weren't invented yet in this time. I think most of us just assumed that it was 8 a.m. at the time because that's when school usually starts. Oh, my God. Why that slightly jump scare me? Okay, if we're going to get out of here, we're going to need good night's sleep. Tomorrow we spring into action. I would always be afraid to just fall asleep in a place like this. Like, I just feel like I would get murdered in the middle of the night. Like, free frick, see freaking uh, sleep paralysis demon. But then realize, oh shit, that's not a sleep paralysis demon. They get actually stabbed to death. <laughs> I'm talking clues. Sherlock's hat. Those weird magnifying glass thingies that make your eyes look all big. <laughs> You got a lot of confidence all of a sudden. Oh, that's a great sign. That's a lovely sign. Thank you. Please raise more death flags. 
ah, I'm more not worried anymore. Not when we've got the ultimate detective on our side. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> You'll get us out of here, right? You know exactly what to do. <sighs> oh, stop. Oh, I could do it. I, it's, it's easy and now to get out of here. That's all I need. That's the all I needed. If Maple thinks we can make it out of here alive, then so do I. Yeah, forget the Powerpuff Girls and whoever else Jenny tried blowing up Monokuma. I could do it with one finger. This is going to be one of the hardest cases we have to crack, but we've made it this far, haven't we? Well, there's going to be more cases you're probably going to have to crack starting tomorrow. I need to bring my A game. Yeah, we got the, all the confidence in the world. We will find out what's going on here and make it out unscathed. I swear. <laughs> Man, I love just seeing all their hope because we know we know how it goes. They're, it's going to crash into the ground. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, I've been meaning to tell you this earlier, but nice hat. <laughs> well, thank you. You just, what, you just realized I had a hat on? I didn't think that the other one fit you anyway. Wait, what? Do I actually have a different hat on? Uh-oh, plot twist already? All right, see you in the morning, bro, bro. Wait, is there something on my hat? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, what do I, what am I wearing? Oh, <laughs> uh, what? That is confusing. Yes, exactly. We got Sea Shanty over here. We got this painting of Sea Shanty. Okay, can't let whatever that was distract me. Look at a mirror. We've got a long day ahead of us. <laughs> what, do we have like a Monokuma hat on? Do we, are we wearing like, oh yeah, I'm the mastermind on my hat. And then everyone's like, that's why everyone's bullying. <laughs> it's like the kick me thing, but it's like, I'm the mastermind, bully me. Oh, hi, hello. How are you doing? So, sir, why is it again that you wanted to study talent of all things? Because I want to steal all the talent, duh. Well, simply put, it's one of the most broad and hard, hard to define fields of study out there. Talent, of course, is typically defined by as having an immense amount of skill in a certain subjects, hobby, professionals, or anything else of that nature. But what makes everyone the best at each talent? Who knows? An easy to understand concept with near limitless outcomes. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> That's why I decided to take the approach of enrolling as many different students with as as with as the, 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 the different of talents as possible. <laughs> so wait, Cartman was kind of right with this one, actually. There was a few exceptions, however, such as the two ultimate magicians due to how difficult their talents seemed to be function. Listen, Cartman was on the right track. He just said it in a very wacky way, you know. He wanted to just make sure that no one trusted him because he wants to keep all the information to himself while also telling everyone what happened. I don't know. He's, he's just confusing like that. My son was, the, was also supposed to be enrolled as the second ultimate scientist, but he didn't make it. And this is why I'm holding this fucking killing game. <laughs> Sigh, that boy. Wait, what? Did he die or something? Did he, like, die in a car crash or something? Anyway, as someone born with an extraordinary talent capable of innovating the entire planet, we were all responsible for their death or something like that. I don't know. <sighs> My goal was to find a way to help the youth today do the same. Yeah, I'm sure you're doing a great job of that, doing this. <laughs> By creating a dorm system and monitoring their progress, we can gather more data on what makes the talented so talented. By getting away with murder? You know there's other ways you can use talent, right? But a professor, if that's the case, why even have courses for the students you deemed unworthy? Oh, ho, ho, I think you interrupt. You in interpreted the system without without a gray area my dear says this is all in a white area this is all perfectly morally okay what are you talking about every child deserves a chance to shine but the talented obviously shine that much brighter <laughs> so we're gonna make them dimmer and uh make them sink into despair because despair well, ha ha. this is this is still supposed to be a respected academy at the end of the day no student was outright denied from attending unless their track record was inexcusable they wanted to make sure that they would actually show up on this day <laughs> to kidnap. In fact, less than 5% of students enrolled this year are actually part of the talent course. So there's a billion other students that are just normal students. Oh, why are you doing that? Also, I don't want anyone poking their nose into this. Whoa, why are you all freaky? Why are you doing that? Making an academy with only the esteemed in mind. And it's sure to raise eyebrows if you don't look out for the little guy. Yeah, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> This guy's getting on my nerves. I don't like what he's planning. As much as I want to help create a stronger future, I know that that very few will agree with my methods. That's why I do it without their consent because, uh, yes, even with 
Miss Wakeman is unaware of most of our play. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. So they signed them up all this for this, but they didn't know what they were getting into. Actual fine print. You know, they didn't read the, they didn't read the terms and services, I suppose. If I'm going to study what I need to do, I can't afford to be discovered. They signed it so I can't get sued anyway, but I don't want the police on me. I trust that you'll respect the information I must withhold from even you, my dear assistant. Who am I? Who am I? Am I Dipper? Am I wearing a hat that says I'm a Dipper? I'm not Dipper. I'm, not, I'm an assistant. These machines will change the world. Why? Are you trying to save the world from... <laughs> Mark my words. Are you trying to save the world from like total annihilation or something like that? And it's like, oh, this game needed to happen in order to save the world from dying. You know, I was doing a very good thing. I was being very misunderstood. All right. Good morning. Oh, it's 7 a.m. If I had to wake up at 7 a.m. every morning, I'd probably lose my mind, too, in this thing. That would be the biggest problem. Monokuma was here. Good morning. Oh, hello. Look this at you just chilling there. Monokuma. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I have to wake up so goddamn sure early. I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> if I was in this game, I'd just go back to sleep. I mean, I would shut off my... I'd break my TV. I might just cut the wire for it. I, I might get punished. I don't freaking care. Ugh. Oh, man, I slept terribly. Definitely not the first thing I wanted to hear in the morning. Yeah, I bet. What's in that treasure chest? I want to go exploring. What's in there? Maybe a master sword or something like that? At the very least, it was a reminder that of that the events of yesterday were real. Dun, dun, dun. Who would have guessed? The kidnappers, the robot bear, the superheroes. All of that was real. <laughs> no, it was actually a dream. If we step outside, we're just going to be outside. Actually outside. It's today that we work on a plan to get ourselves out of here. Oh, hey, it was, it was at my door. Maple? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Maple. 100 bucks with Maple. Uh, who is it? Y'all can call me idiot in the comment section if I'm wrong. No voice responded to me from the other side of the door. But what did come through was... Wait, what? Someone burst through my door? Oh, Bubbles. Hey. No, what's this all about? I guess I'm an idiot. Oopsies. <laughs> oh. Oh man, you really told everyone. Oh, okay, I thought Maple told everyone that I was gonna help everyone break everyone out. Okay, thank you for that note. I love all the lovely drawings and stickers. Make it extra happy for me because I'm in a not happy mood right now. Oh, well, that's nice. The two Powerpuff Girls want to bring everyone together. Man, they're so love nice and they always want to help us break out. I respect that. Though that might be a little difficult considering, considering what, <laughs> what needs to be considered now. Oh, hi. Why are you on my screen again? That guy. He doesn't even deserve to be called by his name. <laughs> He's that freaky. <laughs> but that doesn't mean I shouldn't try to help. <laughs> Carmen's going to ruin this plan. I, I can bet. I bet. Besides, Maple and I were already planning on looking for clues today, so this is perfect. All right, time to pump myself up. Let's do this! Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> oh, man, let's see what... Oh, why is this hallway scary? <laughs> Dipper Pine, the ultimate detective. Oh, we got some nice, lovely lighting on the... Oh, what? Uh, I knew you'd pop up. More like the ultimate dork. Ah! I knew you were always going to be like two inches away from me at all times. You're never going to leave my side. Uh, you never change your goober morning. Ah, uh, great. I love being called goober the second I wake up in the morning. Gotta remember not to do that in the open. <laughs> of all people that catch me narrating out loud, I guess Maple would be my first choice. So this works out. Listen, I was trying to get myself up. I'm preparing to be the protagonist of the story, okay? I want to be a good protag. I don't want to die immediately. Come on. You got that note too, right? We've got a lunchroom to go to. Right. Let's not keep them waiting. Damn. They put in all the effort to write 15 individual notes or 14, I guess. If Bubbles was already... No, not Bubbles. Uh, Blossom was already on to this. Already knew. Maybe they split the workload. Who knows? All right. Wait. Someone in the hallway? Who's in the freaking hallway? I'm ready to fight if you want to fight me, Cartman. <laughs> Man, those stairs are going to kill me. Damn. Why, this, why is there so much distance? Why do we have to climb so high, man? I just want to get to my room. It's too or leave my room. It's too early in the morning for this amount of exercise. Well, I guess I'll keep us in shape, I guess, at least. All right, almost there. We just fall flat on our face because we're just so tired. 
What the? What the? What is? Wait, what is? Is right? What is this? Did I see that? Wait, what? What? Wait, was I supposed to see What's something? Up, Did I see a ghost? Did I see a Luigi's Mansion ghost? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Maple, did you see that? Bro, I don't freaking know. Scooby-Doo is here. I don't know. See what? I thought I saw something go down the stairs. Is freaking Houdini here or something like that? He went abracadabra disappear? Yeah, you dummy. <laughs> no, I mean down the stairs blocked off by that gate. Bro, we have a flashlight. Maybe we can shine it down there. Maybe we can see them. Maybe, maybe we can see like their eyes glowing in the shadows. <laughs> it was small and just slipped right past the bars. Worry about it later, Dipper. We don't want to be late. Oh my God. Is someone already freaking planning a murder? <laughs> Besides, it's not like we can go down there and check for, out it for ourselves. Like I said, we could flashlight it, you know? Maybe maybe they're standing at the end of the staircase menacingly. Who knows? Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I don't like what that mentor was implying. Oh, great. Well, I guess we'll talk about that later. All right, sorry about that. Let's see what they have to uh, tell us. Oh, hey, everyone's here. Everyone's having a grand old party here. Hey, oh, hey, Dippy's here. Plus the girl that looks like him. Hopefully no one drugged the food or anything like that. Dippy. Oh, that's my nickname now. I mean, it's kind of cute. I like it. Uh, nice nickname, short stuff. <laughs> Uh, almost as good as Skipper, right, Eddie? All right. Shut up, dumbbell. Damn, that's a new one. <laughs> Damn. Ah, Dipper Maple. Have a seat, you two. Did you guys find a way out? Uh, you better have. We we plan to start the discussion after breakfast is served. Wait, who's serving it? Ah, breakfast. Whoa, food. I've never seen that in the last two days since I've been here. Or one. Yes, the floaty blue one pl pushed me out of the kitchen in order to make some stupid pancakes. <laughs> Yo, I hope they're not like demonified. That would be pretty bad. Oh, by the way, how's your the head feeling, Ed? Oh, I healed instantly. Tart yet savor. What the fuck? That's not the question. Do we? <laughs> Bro has no brain anymore. If he had, he didn't have one before, but he definitely doesn't have one now. We we fixed them up with a couple of bandages and painkillers, man. You can't fix them mentally, though. <clears throat> Oddly enough, the damage done was fairly tame compared to the blood loss, so we didn't have to wear them for long. <laughs> You're lucky you were born with such a thick layer of bone up there, dude. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I guess it pays to have a thick skull. Mo Mom says it's a gift. Dad says stuff I can't repeat. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, is that supposed to be some sad lore that we're going to get later? So, who are we... Who are we uh, waiting for? Oh yeah, we got these people. Uh, all the invader Zims went bye bye. <laughs> they said adios. Well, with the twins here, and now that now it's missing is Dib, uh, Dib, G Gaz, Kyle, and the cream kid and the round kid. Oh, I didn't know that Gaz was here. What are you talking about? At least you know that it's realistic. They don't remember all the names. Whoa! Why can't I never hear her come? <laughs> she just has stealth 100 on. She's like, follow my moves and sneak around. My dad for the way, my bad for the blah, 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 my dad. I had to get this idiot out of bed. <laughs> oh, now they're showing up. Okay, I see. Theory searching all night. Couldn't sleep. Well, no, don't go mentally insane over this. <laughs> Looks like someone had a hot day with the floor last night. <laughs> yeah, they were writing all their sticky notes and shit all over the floor and stuff because they're that crazy. Have you two seen Zim, Kyle, or Eric? Did they imagine if they just freaking died? <laughs> this is actually just the whole chapter. Uh, Daily life, deadly life, all in one. We need everyone here as a group if we're going to plan out our escape. We don't need them. We can do this alone. They're not going to help. They're probably going to sabotage more than anything. I saw Kyle staying in the hallway of the dorms when I left my room. Other than that, my stupid brother is the only person I saw before coming here. Damn. I didn't know you had silvering, sibling rivalry. And Zim is... Zim is being Zim. What is the meaning of the, this colored tree shred? Wait, what? What are they feeding? <laughs> Bro, do they got the... Do they got wacky stuff? Are they on that wacky stuff? Right behind us, I guess. <laughs> you just say their name and they appear. You dare insult Zim with the hussy's drawing of death. Who is responsible for this travesty? Pancakes are right. Oh, it's you that's cooking. I thought it was the other blue one. 
you, flying batter, batter fryer? Is this a challenge? What? What are these insults? What? What do you make of these rainbow scribbles? Listen, she just wanted to make it all cutesy, you know? They're made out of love, silly. Everyone's a part of the team, even you, creepy green. <laughs> Way to keep that nice and respectful and nice. I will not take this lightly. Small floating curry. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Damn, you just got a butt. Oh, man, you don't want to fuck with Zim. Zim will, Zim will uh, do a lot of things. Just like that, Zim was silenced by the mouthful of pancakes shoved in his- Oh, okay, I thought you, like, headbutt him. There, problem solved. If you can't talk, if you're gagging. <laughs> Yay, pancakes saved the day once again. <laughs> pancakes killed someone. Imagine that timeline. This is the future of our planet, people. Just wanted to remind you. <laughs> man, we have a bright future ahead of us, man. Man, I'm, I'm surprised we don't have flying cars at this point. Speaking of problems, I've been meaning to mention something. Ah, what is it? What do you have to tell? Do you- do we really need everyone to be part of the team? Oh, you want to exclude people? Well, what do you mean? I mean, we got, uh, Ed here. I mean, he's- he's very useful. Well, there's this guy over here. It's probably Ed. It's always freaking Ed. It burns the tree sap, bro. What the? <laughs> bro, who put hot peppers in it or something? Ghost pepper pancake syrup. <laughs> Imagine that being a thing. But then that, there's also the chubby kid. <laughs> Damn, we're not even asking for names anymore. We're just like, fuck it. Let's just throw insult names at people. I can't see him being anything more than a hazard to everyone here. <laughs> I'm surprised you even care about everyone's health. Yeah, with the way he's has ha, he was talking last night, he didn't sound like he was ready to help anytime soon. Nice, he's gonna be pretty useful. Trust me. He thinks this is some kind of game show with the cash. I mean, it is a game show, right? The way he talked about it was alarmingly calm. Like he was confident that he could win. He's like, could, but I won't. I won't. There's anyone you want to keep an eye out for right now? It's that guy. Listen, just because he put a flashlight underneath his his chin does not make him a villain, right? Right? Yeah, we know what's gonna happen. Huh. I wasn't there for that, unfortunately. I'm not gonna take your word for it either. Pretty sure Jenny and I were still talking in the. Talking. We're still trying to b break through the wall. To no avail. Yeah, I figure. <laughs> what was that freaking wall made of anyway? Still, I think there's power in numbers. We shouldn't rule out his inclusion just yet. Yeah, they have a different opinion than me. Dead. Get out of here. Guy still gives me the creeps. I mean, that is true. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Bro, just fitting everything in his mouth. Don't talk with your mouth full, Binet. His mouth is more than full. It's overflown. I don't think he's threatening enough that we have to do anything yet. The key word is yet. Once he starts putting his hands up like crazy, then yeah, we, we might have to do something about it. But not right now, maybe. We have, to, we have to let him do his thing first. You know, antagonize a little bit. I mean, have you seen his tiny little legs? <laughs> They're so small and wild. Yeah, you think he can outrun us or chase us down if he had a knife in his hand? <laughs> How's he going to catch anyone with those cutie patootie? <laughs> Way to be uh, complimentary. That's a fair point, but I'm gonna have to ask you to never refer to legs as cutie patooties ever done. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, Dan Snyder on this plot? No promises. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, we got everyone here now. I was trying to make sure that this asshole joined the meeting. I don't want to be part of this meeting. I I'm perfectly capable on my own to think on my own. Yeah, yeah, you're lucky I'm hungry, Jew. Ooh. The way these kids talk still disturbs me. Yeah, that is, uh... Shouldn't be talking like that. Oh, that's why you were waiting in the hallway. Oops, I just bumped my mic on it. <laughs> Perfect. If everyone's here and breakfast is served, we can finally get to the main again. Oh my gosh, finally. It took like five, ten minutes <laughs> to finally be able to talk about this because, you know, they keep fighting and talking interesting. Oh, here we go. Bro! Does he need CPR? Does Invader Sim need CPR? What is she doing over there? Why did what the? You get to be the one who speaks for everyone? Yeah, why am I not the protagonist? Oh, there you are with I your pancakes, Cartman. You guys what my talent is, do I? Yeah, the ultimate team leader. No, of course not. <laughs> the ultimate floater. Right? The ultimate person capable of flying. As the 
ultimate team leader, I'm already the most qualified person for the job. I mean, I, I, I kind of believe that, to be honest. I do. In addition, as she a might be a good leader. Girl, I'm one of the strongest members of our team. Uh, that's pretty generous to say team. Having someone fill the role of leader is crucial, and I fit the bill better than anyone else. Way to rub it in. <laughs> I am so much better than everyone than, than everyone else. Now at least Morty's like, yeah, whatever. Morty just seems like whatever. He's just gonna let whatever happen happen. He's like, okay, I guess you want to do this. I guess you want to do that. Oh, I guess someone died. Oh, whatever. Another oh, Tuesday to me. Spice baby. <laughs> what the? <Stop laughs> I forgot. I forgot that was your the nickname. So what did you have in mind? <laughs> yeah, what is it? I mean, yeah. Did you find a plot hole? What about them? <laughs> that is true. It's like, oh shit. What about nine hours? Nah. Oh yeah, I forgot everyone dies at night. Yeah, I forgot. Let me find them in the morning. I mean, I guess that makes sense. What if I don't want to go to bed at 10? Then you're going to lock everyone's door at 10 p.m. so they can't escape? Someone's already thinking of how to break these rules, probably. Man. If we weren't in the killing game. Oh, we're doing this every single day. Oh man, it's like a full time job, but worse. <laughs> or part time. Oh, so it's basically just a full time job. Yeah, I know. We're not going to find anything in this tiny school in four hours. I'm going to be exhausted by the end. What if we. You know what? Killing seems a bit easier at this point. Eh? Eh? Someone's probably thinking about it right now. <laughs> They're like, I don't want to do this shit every day for eight hours. Probably going to be close to eight hours after discussing coming here. I've divided the school into four dedicated search areas. You just take a cross up here and just go, yep, this is how it's divided. The first floor has the, has the kitchen area and the gym area, respectively. The second floor has a common area with the dorms and then the area in the back that I believe has the principal office and a few other areas. I hope we, we rotate areas because I don't want to search the same half, fourth of a school my whole damn life. Let's divide in the four groups of four and search around for clues. Please don't put me with anyone I don't like. Are there any rules f for who we can group with? I think right now it'd be fine to everyone to go with who they want. Oh, this is gonna this is probably gonna end terribly. <laughs> That's a great idea, totally. Yeah, let's do that. Why, why not? Pretty sure that as long as there's four people per team, there's always there's a, there'll always be one or two people to look out for any. <laughs> oh, you just flew right over them. <laughs> Look out for anyone, anyone acting suspicious. Oh damn! What are you looking at me for? I did nothing wrong yesterday. I wasn't, I wasn't intimidating at all. I was, I was just speaking the truth. You know, you don't like the truth, huh? You know what that means, Dipper? We get to explore each other. We get to explore with each other after all. Not explore each other. No, with each other. Big difference. Sounds good to me. Now we just need two other people. Why do I tag along? I've been meaning to talk to you ever since yesterday, Dipper. What do you want to talk to me about? What, about your alien discoveries? Not at all. Actually, this is exactly what I envisioned for a team. Oh, this is going perfectly according to plan. Count me in, too. Okay, I guess we're getting the Invader Sims today. All right, I'll take it. Why not? Wow, really? Gaz, you never want to be on my team for anything. What changed? Oh, I had character development overnight. Off-screen character development. I'm not dealing with any of these other freaks on my own. Uh, I'm just picking the least sufferable, least insufferable people. If I suffer, you're suffering with me. Good enough for me. Well, you pick the most normal people. Trust me. We'll, we'll have a good, we'll have a good time here. Don't worry. Mm. Hey, uh, Morty, was it? Oh, is Morty? Where's, where's, what, what Morty team was he on? What team is Morty on? Um, yeah. You need something? You mind keeping an eye on Zim while we split up? Yeah, you need to make sure he's uh, not doing alien things, like summoning UFOs and stuff. Make sure he doesn't get up to anything dumb. Uh, you know what? Sure. I was teaming up with Kyle anyways. We still needed two more people. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just going to take care of all these dimwits. Cartman, you're coming with us? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Car Kyle's not going to be very happy with that one. Ow, Kyle. Stop. Let go of my arm. This shit hurts. Looks like Kyle doesn't want let Eric out of his sight. 
Or Kyle's a protagonist of his own story, and he knows, he already knows how uh, Corbett's going to be. Look, looks like the groups are... You gotta keep track of this, probably. <laughs> Maybe we do, okay. Uh, Morty, the Cartman's in the Zim. <laughs> it's kind of cool seeing them have Danger Rapa sprites. Of course these two stick together. They seem to like each other. And then uh, these two, Powerpuff Girls. They seem to be like good friends already, like BFFs for life. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Where's the other group? Which leaves us with uh, the Ed, Ed, Eddie gang and then the, the these people. Yay! We'll get to be partners, Vendetta. Uh, I don't want to be partners with you. This is a fate worse than death. Get me out of here. <laughs> huh? Wasn't expecting this, but whatever works, I guess. I mean, I guess it's good to keep up on Eddie anyway. <laughs> hey, we got all the teams. Let's go. Great. Everyone's settled then. We'll begin our search after breakfast is over. If someone ends up dead, uh, we know we can limit down the culprits down to three. Any objections? By anyone not named Vendetta? <laughs> Please don't go against my beliefs. Yes, Zim objects. Oh, great. No one said anything. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I didn't know Bubbles was so strong she knocked the text off the screen. <laughs> oh, wait. No, oh, the door explorer arrow fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> Silly green man. Oh, oh. <laughs> the arrow was like, good job. You did a good thing. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck Zim. No one likes Zim. Just kidding. He's pretty cool. We all continued our most, our mostly normal breakfast with each other. That's normal. Well, I guess you'll get used to it now. It's probably normal now. When we finished, each group branched off to their assigned area. Team Charlotte, Charlotte in the lunch area, Team Morty in the gym area, Team Blossom on the second floor, common area, and our team went where? Are we searching the bathroom? Probably get the bathroom. We're probably going to get the worst area. Wait, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we searching? Oh, we're going up here. Oh, we didn't get to explore these areas yet. Oh, that's going to be cool. That's going to be pretty fun. Oh, we're going to the principals. Wait, I want to go to question mark area. What's question mark area? Is there, like, a bunch of mysteries in there? Scooby-Doo mysteries? Oh, what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> that door looks, uh, more than bulletproof. Looks explosive-proof. The back end of the second floor. This is gonna be a fun area to search, for, certainly. This is the only space in the academy. I haven't looked into that all much. What about the other areas? This is one of the few parts of Host Peak Academy that Dib and I got to see before it actually opened. Maybe they don't know about the other areas yet. Dad's office is up here. So he used to bring us over to talk about our future classes in science and gym. Oh yeah, you guys are practically celebrities here. Are they? Your dad must be insanely talented to be able to build a school of this magnitude. Oh, he did a great job. He did a great job doing this to us. Yeah, talented. Yeah, more like malicious. Something up. They definitely know something. Nah, it's nothing big. Let's just get looking around for clues. Nothing big. Your dad's literally part of this freaking game. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> She's definitely a little too kooky. She's definitely cuckoo to suck cover mystery puffs. This door definitely gives off a different vibe from everything else we've seen so far. Yeah, a bit. <laughs> you think? Yeah, dad's office is almost certainly the most important place in this whole building. <laughs> It's got a lot of different records of students that are attending Host Peak and doubles as a small laboratory. There's actually a 17th person here. That's what we're going to discover in there. I still don't know why he thinks it's a good idea to keep his fire-breathing toaster. It's fire-breathing toaster next to his paperwork, but hey, that's dad for you. What? <laughs> that's something that tells me that the toaster's fucking broken, you know? I don't think it's supposed to do that. All right, let's crack this puppy open and see what's inside. Wait, don't! Wait, why? Oh, whoa! Oh, <laughs> damn, they shocked the tears out of her. She instantly cried. Ow, what's wrong with this thing? Yeah, I didn't tell us about this fucking mechanism. Excuse me. This is the door's main defense mechanism. The big zappy thing. The big zappy thing. <laughs> oh, don't blame me. That no, I didn't name it. Oh, nope. It's the big zappy thing now. Point is, the BZT zaps anyone who tries to open the door to the office without a key. Do we have the key? It automatically shuts down all electronic devices held by whoever touches it if they aren't membrane approved. Oh, I hope we're membrane approved. Knowing, seeing how we're living here, basically means anything but our monocollars will get fried. I'm glad they 
protect the most important things this random tablet yes us humans and stuff like that and aliens nah can't imagine jenny will be of any help here that um, if i remember correctly that is the only one who with the key to enter this room we gotta go find him we're gonna track him down he's in the school somewhere he's in the walls i don't think we're ever going to be able to get into his office by ourselves yeah we need some sort of we gotta use ed again <laughs> get ed on this shit Ah, uh, we were so close to cracking this case wide open darn it uh, yeah it's never that easy well if dip says there's no way to get in there I'll just take his word for it, unless he's lying, and he wants to keep all the secrets to himself. Whatever's in, in there is just gonna have to wait. Maybe we'll unlock it in Chapter 5, no matter how curious I am. Well, you know what? Where are the ultimate detectives? We'll find a way in, right? No matter how close I stare at it. I just want to get in. Hey, stupid, we're leaving now. Stop staring at the door like a moron and get to move on. Sorry, I just really am interested in this door. Like, it's a really cool door with all the electrical shock thing on it. Like, that's interesting to me. Uh, sorry, coming. All right, where are we exploring now? Ooh, we're, oh, we actually are going to explore the areas. Okay, here we go. What is this, like the lounge? This looks like a lounge. It looks like a really wacky couch. Whoa. Whoa, this is really bright. This is all like pink world. <laughs> like a Barbie movie in here. Oh, my God. Oh my gosh, what is this magical place? Of course she's gonna love it. <laughs> she's like, whoa. Lined up clothes and assortment of rainbow colors? Whoa. Oh, I don't know why, but I think I can taste the colors. <laughs> this much bright pink in one area is poison to someone like me. I like it all dark and emo and purple. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It's just so perfect in every way. There's sweaters and yarn all over the place and a big stage in the middle. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is a big stage. Oh, they're gonna definitely gonna have a party in here. This room was almost like it was built for Maple. Oh, can I sleep in this room? Oh, Monokuma, can you make the reception to me sleeping in my dorm? I have to sleep in my dorm because I don't want to. This is... That's because it was genius. Oh, wait, actually? Wait, it was, this is was actually built for Maple? This is one of the ultimate labs. Oh! Oh, shit, this is coming back. Ultimate, what's it? Oh, let's go. I, I honestly really like that idea in V3 when they had like the ultimate uh, rooms or whatever. I'm so glad to see this again because it's just so cool. It's the old room dedicated their talent and everything like that. In order to help the students of Hope Speak Academy study their talents, our dad made sure that everyone in the academy had their own dedicated resources. Ah, oh, so kind of them. Maybe he isn't as bad after all, you know. And yeah, just a little bit of a morally gray area, but I think it's okay now. It's perfectly acceptable. What are you talking about? There's a lab for each and every one of us, but they're scattered around the building in what feels like random order. How the fuck do you know all this? <laughs> I want to know that. That's a little suspicious, don't you think? This one seems to be the ultimate sweater designer lab. An entire lab just for me. Oh, I'm so staying here. Oh, oh. <laughs> she's gone supersonic speed. They're giving her too much power. Oh, she's just going to be living in this room. Well, looks like Maple won't be much help here. Oh, she's going to stay behind. That looks like that looks like blood splatter. <laughs> see, a lab for everyone in this school. Now I'm curious to see what a workspace designed with me in mind would look like. I don't know. That'd be pretty interesting to see. All right, let's get back to the task at hand. What secrets could this room be hiding? I don't know, check the closets or something. Maybe check the paintings or something behind it. Please don't narrate yourself out loud. It's creepy. Listen, I want to talk to myself if I want to talk to myself, okay? No one else wants to talk to me as kindly as I do. Oh, the arrow's just suddenly just showing up now. <laughs> Sweater, Rachel. It's just kind of, now it's just another character. Man, there's a lot of sweaters. I know it's her ultimate lab and all. But you'd really think Maple needs this many? Yes, she does. <laughs> She's going to do the thing where she just puts on all the sweaters at once. I think they're supposed to be base sweaters. Base sweaters. You, like, carve them up and, like, put designs all over them and everything. All of them are one singular color without many features. They're likely here for people to accessorize any way they want. And that's how your sister's sweaters... Sweater has shooting a star on it. I'm gonna use all of them. I'm gonna make I'm gonna combine them into making some big massive sweater <laughs> The ultimate sweater. I'm genuinely terrified <laughs> They're all bright pastel colors. Would it kill it to add a something that doesn't remind us is too bright Turn down the brightness and contrast, please. I'm even surprised there's like no purple though There that is kind of weird that none of them have any sort of dark tones Maple's worn non rainbow color sweatshirts before. Yeah, where are all the colors of the rainbow? What if I want to wear black someday, you know? I want to be like a full-on emo. 
Well, the process of making these labs mostly came from your application as well as the theme of your talent. So not everything is going to line up perfectly with an individual's personal life. I see. So she likes all the pastel pink and all that stuff. Huh. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, we better keep that in mind. <laughs> Just in case if there's anything wrong with the room. Whoa. Modeling stage. Oh, that's going to be cool. That's pretty cool. I can't lie. That's... Looks like some kind of bright platform for the people to model and pose on. Maple's definitely going to end up using that thing, regardless of if someone looks, someone's looking or not. <laughs> pose! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just don't look directly down because uh, you don't want to get blinded. She's already doing it. <laughs> Just striking her goofy pose. <laughs> Man, she's probably going to die in this room. Walk my words. Wardrobe. Let's see what's inside the closet. Hopefully no no bodies or anything. It's got to be normal stuff, right? Please be normal stuff. Oh, wow. They really did just deck this out for her. <laughs> oh, there's there's the there's the emo colors. All right, Gaz, you're happy now? You got you got the colors you want, even though this is in your room? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything that is of interesting in here. Spray paint, knitting needles, and more sweat sweaters. Not much of note going on here. Oh, hey, they've got large sweaters in here. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> I keep bumping everything today. And here I was thinking these only came in maple sizes. Well, you know, maybe she wants to, you know, give everyone else sweaters. Yeah, a lot larger. Can any of us even fit in these things? She's going to make us all sweaters. How, how cute would that be? Oh, wait a minute. That would be very wholesome. These photos and decorations. How the fuck did they get the photos of us and everything? Maple, did you put these here? Nope, I just, I mean, just judging by your reaction, this is the first time here. Uh, no, I didn't even know this room existed until just now. She has like alien. Wait a minute. Is that part of Invader Zim world? And I think I'd remember taking a photo with a little spaceship earring on. Invader Zim, what did you do? Is this like the photo they took? Membrane took? Dang it. Are th those are cute. Now I'm jealous of myself. Damn, I wish I had them now. Maybe they are in here. Maybe somewhere. <laughs> Go digging for them. <laughs> if you don't remember, I've ever taken this photo. Oh, shit. Our memories have been all fucked. Do you think we've been here before and just can't remember it? Probably. I wouldn't be too surprised. Honestly, that's what I assumed to begin with. How would they know that we wanted to be here if uh, we didn't come here before? Seems like a pretty standard twist for someone like this. <laughs> and how long has it been? It's a good question. Uh, I think this is mentioned, right? Like a year? A year or so? Maybe you're lying. Maybe it's been a decade. It just doesn't make sense. This feeling of an easy, this pit on my stomach, and I am going crazy, or am I forgetting something? Yeah, we're probably forgetting a lot of things. All the important stuff that would immediately make us solve, us, solve what is going on here. Could it relate to this, to that weird feeling I had yesterday? If I can't remember being here, what else could I be missing from my memory? All the mysteries that we've ever done. I know we done mysteries, but I just can't remember which ones. It's like one of those things. It's like, you know you did something. You just don't remember exactly how or whatever. I'm probably just overthinking this. No, I think it's reasonable to question that. I've got... I still got investigation to do. I shouldn't dwell on this for much longer. Okay, I guess we're just gonna, you know, keep moving along. <laughs> Sewing table. That looks like a bench. I thought that was a bench... Seems to be a simple setup for someone to sew sweaters, steams. Ste seams, not steams. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be steaming in here, I guess. Wow, that's a mouthful. I'm not even speaking out loud because <laughs> I lost my speaking out loud privileges. <laughs> Other than that, nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Yeah, it's just like a normal set. Nothing, nothing too wacky. Oh, unicorn painting. Who is this? Where did they get this photo from? <laughs> Wouldn't be... Wouldn't be a maple themed room without some kind of fairy tale creature on the wall. Well, if you know maple. Eh, after meeting a real unicorn, I'm kind of over this. Uh, this is so lame now. Those guys are jerks. Who are jerks? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Wait, is this like an episode? I've not watched. Uh, <laughs> I've honestly not watched this show, to be honest. Wait, you've met a unicorn before? What is it like? Did it grant you a wish? That's a genie. It lied about how pure it was, so I beat it up and ripped out its <laughs> Damn, I would have never expected Maple to be like that, to be honest. She doesn't seem like someone that would, like, beat the shit out of someone. I don't know what to expect, but that wasn't it. Me neither. <laughs> That's my reaction exactly. I'm like, hold the fuck up. 
Huh, maybe you're not so bad after all. Ooh, you, ooh, or so you're into beating up people too? Oh, I like beating up people as well. <laughs> I like solving my problems with violence. It's a great way to do things. Great ball yarn. Damn. <laughs> Is that a yarn egg? Damn. Jesus, Mr. Biggest mystery egg ever. Goddamn. <laughs> Dipper, don't be silly. This is obviously a great way to fab to fabulous yarn city where everyone is exceptionally well dressed and cats are outlawed. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are cats outlawed? Dare to jump in and find out? I thought you would like cats. You're all <laughs> bro. Her eye just keeps like twist, spinning around and everything. She's just she's just in a really quirky mood. <laughs> Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Oh, damn, they got lost. Don't get lost or suffocate. Oh, it wasn't there. Who would have guessed the whole city doesn't fit in a five by five space? At least it doesn't. I don't think it was. It's too dark to see anything in there. Yeah, we might need a flashlight. <clears throat> yeah, it's a ball of yarn. What did you expect? Someone's gonna add a murder weapon there. Yarn City, we've been over this. <gasps> Yarn City, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get David Hasselhop to help us <laughs> get there. Oh, I know he helped us. Never mind. My joke didn't make sense. All right, look, all right. Look, looks like there's all there is to see here. Are we gonna look in the mirror to see ourselves? To see the hat, our hat maybe. Aside from that picture of Mabel in the cabinet, cabinet, there weren't many clues that help us to escape this place. It doesn't look like this lab is going to be all that useful to us in the long run. Are you sure about that? Here we go now. I can barely keep my eyes open in this gaudy room. Oh, man. I hope the next room is completely dark and, like, has no lights in it. Maybe a dim light at most. You've opened your eyes before. Not anymore. Don't test me. Oh, there she is. <laughs> it's like when you wake up in the morning and, like, any sort of light just burns the living hell out of your eyes. You know that feeling? That when it sucks. It sucks. <laughs> That's probably what she's feeling right now. We should be done here anyway. Let's continue our search into the other rooms across the hall. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got to go to the mystery room. I do want to see the mystery room. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. No, you're not going to say anything? I'm not going to say nothing. All right, where are we going? We are going to the mystery room. I do want to see this. I really do got to see this. <laughs> All right. Whoa, what the hell? Yo, oh, this is definitely her room. Gaz's room. She's like, oh, thank God. Oh, I'm across from Maple, though. God damn. Whoa, it's all weird and geeky in here. Well, <laughs> damn, they got the freaking 95-inch TV there. Is this your lab, Dipper? Oh, uh, no. Uh, actually, this is my lab. Oh, it is. Okay, I thought it was Gaz. I mean, maybe it could fit for both. Could have fooled me. God damn it. I wish this was my room. Oh, do I have to kill to get to see my other room? Or someone has to kill to see their room? I have to survive this, this, this trial and chapter? Huh. It's not nearly as big or splashy as Maple's room. In fact, it's a little cramped in here. <laughs> Well, there's a reason for that. I wasn't really planning on having guests in here. This is usually in space. Dad's never really been a fan of my dreams to become the world's greatest paranormal investigator. Oh, to the point of to, to that this lab existence wasn't even planned from the start. Was it like a hidden cabin you made when your dad didn't notice? It's like those videos where it's like, oh, yeah, you open up the refrigerator and there's secretly like a third room or secret room. Not third room. What the fuck am I saying? And secret room. You wanted to tell me something? Oh. Damn, we're getting a lot of, like, backstory already to, like, this game. Yes, son. I'm concerned about your position at this school. You're too smart. Position? What do you mean? You're going to talk too much. I might have to silence you. Oh, not this again, Dad. I already told you I want to study under paranormal activity. Too bad. I'm going to force you to do whatever I want. And just so, it's just so unscientific, son. What do you mean? That seems very scientific to study, you know, paranormal stuff. Use all the electronic devices and all stuff like that. Dad ended up refusing my request to be called the ultimate paranormal investigator. Unless I could raise the money to pay for the lab myself. So I ended up taking a lot of odd jobs over the summer to cover the cost. Well, as long as you weren't doing anything like really bad, like illegal or anything. Scrubbing toilets, working at a food court, deep sea pizza delivery. Okay, normal jobs. Okay. <laughs> and worst of all, selling those horrible ninja star cookies door to door. <laughs> Did you like actually throw them like ninja stars at the door and stab them through the door and then be like, $5? Do you know what what those maniacs do if, to you if you don't reach your cookie quota for the day? 
I don't think I never again. Well, I don't. I don't think I. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> nice to keep it secret. He was screaming in the bathroom when he came home that day. <laughs> Red isn't a good color for sim se symmetric flooring. Is that what? Is that what I say? Is that how you speak English? By the by, by the end, I just barely made the quota needed for the lab costs. That's why this is the one of the smallest labs in the building. How do you? What, well, you already know this building front to back. Do you know us what that stupid shadow thing was then? Can you explain that to me, please? Even then, dad was pretty reluctant to allow its construction. Bro, he's gonna fucking die. How about that? I don't, I don't want him to die, but like, he just seems like he will. He's saying too much. And so this room was repurposed. From originally being a break room to now being the ultimate paranormal investigator lab. <laughs> Oh, well, hey, at least it's a pretty cool little lab here. I can't lie. Wow, I didn't know you and your dad were on great terms. Well, who would have guessed that putting your son through this and all that? Oh, don't get me wrong. <laughs> would uh, be the most untaught. Would be... Oh, my God. How do I word this? I have some fucking... Mic. Who would have guessed that a uh, relationship between a son and a father where the father kidnaps the son and puts him in the killing game uh, isn't the best? That's what I meant to say. Oh, my God. I'm all over the place. I'm very sorry. Don't get me wrong. I love my dad. I just wish he supported the path I wanted to take for the future. I love my dad, but oh, this and that and this and that. I can see where he's coming from. That's mostly how I tr was treated back when I first arrived at Gravity Falls. <laughs> Listen, I haven't even seen the pilot episode. I wouldn't know. I probably should. I don't know if I can even react to it on YouTube, but maybe I'll react to it. I don't know. A lot of people simply pushed my findings aside and blamed it on my overactive imagination. Listen, the things that we were seeing were real. You know, they, it's just like Kansas, you know, Phineas and Ferb. You know, they, they didn't actually ever, the mom never actually saw it. That's why they didn't believe that any of the stuff was happening. I can't imagine what it was, what it must be like to have your own father deny you of what you're passionate about. That is sad, though. Like, why, 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 why be such a dream crusher? Anyways, enough talking about ourselves. Let's get to investigating this room. I do agree with that. Oh, yeah, sure. Maybe I can try to talk, talking to him about it later. Yeah, maybe when he's fucking dead. <laughs> He'll be like, hey, dead body. Uh, can you tell me about this? All right, here we go. Who are these characters? I mean, I recognize these two. I don't know about the Yeti guy. Are they from different series? Ooh, I like the boots on this vampire. Maybe, it'll, maybe I'll go for like a half like dark style and half pastel style, you know? Something like that. Grim Reaper, a vampire, and Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. I was allowed to have a few statues made of some of my favorite creatures. That's a little creepy to have a freaking bear in there, Bigfoot, like that. I didn't have too much money to put into it, though. So it was only pick. So it was tough only picking three. <laughs> I mean, you must have had a lot of money to have three life size figures. Have you seen any of these in real life before? Oh, we're getting investigation music. Big feats, absolutely. But the other two are definitely different from any version of these monsters I've seen. Oh man, this music takes me back. It's probably not important. The designers likely took some creative liberties when making these. <laughs> They've got weird taste, but otherwise, not much to see here. Oh, maybe there's something hidden amongst... Uh, why are there letters on the ground everywhere? Oh, we're going to talk about the TV. Maybe there's something hidden amongst the statues. I don't know. They like store a weapon inside of it. That's one big computer. Why they make it so enormous? This is my 8K gaming PC. I'm pretty sure Dib Dib needed a screen that matched his head. <laughs> Damn! Don't we all have comedically large heads? Hey, don't lie. That's not the reason. And what is? I wanted a computer that looked really big and imposing. Something you would see in a lab from a lab of a genius from a movie. No, you need a million monitors to be like that. Makes me feel like I'm working on something. Save the world, as you know. I guess so. We need three mega monitors. How about that? He acts out of these fantasies at home. That's not healthy for him. Ah, uh, no, this is real life. You just don't actually see me doing it. Or me. Well, you're just in denial of what's actually happening. Well, why don't we turn it on and see if there's any way to contact someone outside. Let me guess. It probably doesn't turn on. Sounds like a plan. I'm on it. Let me guess. More lore about Dib and uh, Gaz and Invader Zim and all that. They're honestly really interesting characters, honestly, so far. Huh, doesn't look like it's working right now. Maybe use the electric thing over there. T flip the switch. Monokuma almost certainly tampered with this. He probably didn't want us to have this...
big of an advantage against him right off the bat. Yeah, we have to wait a little bit, man. These, all these rooms are probably going to be important in later chapters. Or this room. And the, the detective membrane brain. Those two rooms are probably going to be really important later on. Not right now, though. Yeah, let's figure. Whoever ki our kidnappers are, are pretty thorough. I wouldn't say so. They brought the most smartest people here. I wonder if we could use this for something else. Well, not smartest people, maybe. Man, they're close, but... Maybe they are the most smartest people, but they put the people that, like, know shit in here. <laughs> Data analyzed. Is it analytic table? Now, this is definitely giving me sci-fi vibes. It's going to be one of those things where it projects, like, 3D images using, like, 2D lights. It's one fancy-looking coffee table. <laughs> Man, imagine. It's supposed to be a table meant for data collecting analysis, scheming code, holographic display. Imagine they just have that nice display only for it to just be a coffee table. It doesn't actually do anything. You know, all that kind of stuff. Looks like this isn't working right now either. Nothing's fucking working, damn. Why do we get our lab unlocked right away if we can't even use anything? You can't really operate this. It looks pretty complicated. It's actually not as hard as it looks. In order to scan an item, you need to be able to calculate the weight and size. Oh, this is super easy. A little four, four year old can do this shit. If the object has NDA and DNA. Oh my fucking God. Why did I read that as NDA? What the fuck? <laughs> DNA, the scan, will go through the database of many potential matches until it finds the most suitable. Then you'll be able to see... See what? Those words mean nothing to me. Short version, please. Can you please make it so like I understand it? Because my, my brain, my little brain can't handle this. This big brain stuff. Uh, well, regardless, even if the table was working, no one but me would be able to, to use it. Because I am League's intelligence ahead of you. Really? Why is that? Because no one doesn't operate things. Didn't Dad didn't want technology like this to be out of open for anyone to operate. Damn, you got an advantage. Okay, this is unfair. This is actually an unbalanced killing game. But because of that, it's locked behind an enormous long, oh, enormous long password that only I know. It's like it's like a hundred zeros or something like that. That actually used to be a nuclear co launch code for uh, nuke one time for the United States. If you didn't know that, I tell you guys what it is. But it'd be, but if I utter the first ten digits out loud, my brain and blood will flow. It will temporarily shut down. That's one way to protect a passcode. Yeah, what? <laughs> Your dad's just gonna flat out kill you if you even say like one number. Huh, so there's 15. Uh, that's the first two digits of the password. You fucking died. I suggested that to dad as a joke, but I'm glad he took me seriously. Damn it, he doesn't know how to take jokes. Are you okay, man? That doesn't really sound like a good dad to me. Fuse box. You don't have to keep denying like the fact that he's a little shitty. <laughs> All right, let's see. There's a fuse box in this room. All right, can we open it or is it gonna be freaking locked? Do we have to take an ax to it? Go Well, I guess you could call it that, but it's a lot more complicated than a simple fuse box. The computer and data analysis table in this room are really powerful. It has 10,040 90s, um, an i11 processor, a bu oh, 20 of those. It's, they're so powerful that they alone needed to have their own source of energy separate from everything else in this school. <laughs> God damn, it's that powerful. It takes up 100 million watts. This box is where all the power comes from. I mean, if it's able to do as much as it does in Invader Zim, then yeah, I guess it makes sense. Wow, so much power. This stupid thing is probably the reason nothing here works. It's probably messed up, messed with somehow. Man, if it takes that much electricity, it probably takes forever to fix too. Hmm, if that's the case, I might be able to repair it. Oh, yeah, I, probably. I can do it in about an hour. Just give me that some time. I might try to look into it after investigation. But this is one, one, uh, one complicated piece of technology. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. There's more than just the CPU, motherboard, RAM, and graphics card and all that. It's likely going to be days before I can get this thing into a functional state. Damn. Well, if it takes that long for its data to you know it's really complicated. Whatever brings us closer to getting out of here. You're gonna power up the building somehow. <laughs> it's just gonna s somehow surge the whole building, even if it's not connected to everything else. Alright, is that everything in here? I think that's everything. That's all there is to see in this room. <laughs> Nothing but broken junk everywhere. This is a waste of time. Actually, no, I would say we, well, we got somewhere. I'm surprised we're actually getting somewhere. This is kind of nice. Usually when we investigate, it's like, oh, we don't go get anywhere. So like chapter three is like when we even just start to get a little bit of information. But I'm glad we're getting a lot of it now. And it's just a lot of the questions right out of the gate. So they can just keep snowballing it forward. 
none of these things are actually broken though. At least I don't think so. With a little touch up, I might be able to get this place in place operational again. Well, I trust you honestly. You seem very honest about what you're doing, so I trust you. This is gonna take a while. Then really, this room full of junk waiting to be unbroken. Glass hat full kind of girl, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's been pretty positive this whole time. So I'm going to electrocute someone in this room. Glass full full. <laughs> that sounds like overflowing with uh, extra words. <laughs> or just worded differently. With that, our search comes to a close. Everything in the back of the second floor has been explored, although there wasn't really much to see. Yeah, it's been rooms that we've seen before. Classrooms and bathrooms aren't the most interesting places to explore. When our time was up, we met every we met back in the cafeteria with everyone else as planned. And I think that's a good time to end it. So yeah. Uh this was really cool. I'm like I said, I really am liking how much we're advancing the plot forward. This isn't just gonna be static chapter one, you know. This has been a pretty good chapter one so far. So we're gonna see what else everyone else found, I guess. Probably nothing, but uh well, this is Invader Zim, or not Invader Zim, uh, Dabs tell everyone about everything that he's been telling us, baby, I don't know, it seems like he's putting a lot of, uh, death flags on his back, and a lot of, uh, like, um, uh, what's it called, it's like, arrows to his back, or whatever, fuck, it. scopes, or whatever, you know what I mean, like, a lot of targets on his back, you know, um, by the people running the game, but who knows, because... I don't know, if he can't even say a password, then there's definitely something he's, like, forced to hide. But I am super excited to see where this goes in the future. We're about halfway done with this daily life. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're brand new. And, of course, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!